Hello. In this video, I will show you how to tune a piano using Grand Piano Tuner for Android, Standard Edition. The video will cover the basic steps of tuning a piano. Other videos will describe all the detailed features of the application. With the help of this application, you can tune both grand pianos and upright pianos. Very important. To detect a string pitch, this application uses the microphone and requires permission to record audio. Please allow Grand Piano Tuner to record audio by selecting the While Using the App option the first time you start the application. Let's start with the user guide. The user guide is shown when you click Help button while in About tab. You can scroll through the user guide. When you click OK button, the guide is closed. The application has five tabs, About, Setting, Status, Tuner, and Harmonics tab. The Tuner tab is the main tab to perform a piano tuning. For the purpose of tuning, a piano is divided into three sections. The temperament octave, usually from A3 to A4, the bass section that is located to the left of the temperament octave, and the treble section that is located to the right of the temperament octave. To perform tuning for each of these sections, the application offers three tuning modes, temperament, bass, and treble. The fourth unison mode is used to tune a string in a choir in unison with another string in the same choir that is already tuned. For example, you've tuned A4, the left string in the choir. Then you want to tune A4, the right string, in unison with the left string. Now let's start the tuning process. I will start tuning the temperament octave, and the first note will be A4. And the first string will be the left string. Usually, for a grand piano, it is recommended to start tuning from the left string in a choir. For an upright piano, it will be the right string in a choir. I mute the other strings in the A4 choir, so the application will listen to A4, the left string, only. Very important, the application should listen to one string at a time only. I put the head of the tuning lever on the proper pin. Important. Verify the proper pin. Put the head of the lever completely and carefully on the pin. When you are done with the string, remove the lever carefully too. For greater control of the lever movement, it is recommended to put the lever handle close to the line of the string. I verify that the application is expecting a proper note and a proper string. A4, the left string. I want to know the current state of this string. I set loop off. I'm going to click listen button and then strike A4 key. I can see that the string is below the desired pitch, so I need to raise the string pitch. I set loop on Click Listen button and strike A4 key repeatedly while working the lever and trying to bring the pitch difference as close to zero as possible. I want to make sure the string is tuned. I set loop off, click listen button, and strike A4 key. The string is tuned now. Important, change the string state to tuned, or rough if you want to adjust it later. Now, the application can use the string as a reference to tune other strings. 
The state of the string is also reflected in Status tab. Let's tune other strings in the A4 choir in unison with the left string. I mute the left and the right strings for A4 and put the lever on the middle string pin. I switch to unison mode and select A4 note and the middle string. Important to use unison mode at least one string in the choir should already be tuned. I want to know the current state of this string. I set loop off, click listen button, and strike the A4 key. I can see that the string is below the desired pitch, so I need to raise the string pitch. I set loop on, click listen button, and strike A4 key repeatedly while working the lever and trying to bring the pitch difference as close to zero as possible. I want to make sure the string is tuned. I set loop off, click listen button, and strike A4 key. This string is tuned now. I change its state to tuned and proceed with the tuning of the right string. After tuning A4, the right string, in unison mode, I switch back to temperament mode and change to G sharp 4, the left string. I repeat the same tuning steps for G sharp 4, the left string, as I did for A4, the left string. It is tuned now. I switch its state from off to tuned. Repeating the steps above, I will tune all the notes and all the strings within the temperament octave. To change a note, I click Alter Note button and select a desired note. By default, the change note limits are in temperament mode from A3 to A4. In bass mode, from A0 to A3. In treble mode, from A sharp 4 to C8. Alternatively, I can use these buttons to move a note an octave down, an octave up, a semitone down, or a semitone up. Important: the selection of notes in temperament mode is limited to the notes within the temperament octave. After the temperament octave is tuned. I will proceed with tuning the bass section. I switch to bass mode and select G sharp 3 note and the left string. Important: the selection of notes in bass mode is limited to the notes below the temperament octave. G sharp 4, the left string has been tuned while tuning the temperament octave. Now it provides a reference to tune G sharp 3, the left string. I will tune the second harmonic of G sharp 3, the left string, to match the first harmonic of G sharp 4, the left string. For this string, I perform the same steps of checking its string state, adjusting the tension, 
verifying the string is tuned and setting its tuning state as it did before. The middle and the right strings of G sharp 3 are tuned in unison mode as described above. I will repeat the similar steps for all the notes and all the strings within the bass section. The details of this process are presented in the page A Piano Tuning Sequence, included in the user guide. When I need to change the ratio of the harmonic to tune and the reference harmonic, I switch to Harmonics tab and make the selections accordingly. For instance, to tune A2, the left string, the fourth harmonic, to match A4, the left string, the first harmonic. I switch to Harmonics tab and select Harmonics to tune equals 4, Reference harmonic equals to 1, Interval octaves equals to 2. and click Apply button. The application navigates back to Tuner tab while keeping your selections. After the bass section is tuned, I will proceed with the tuning of treble section. I switch to treble mode and select A sharp 4 note and the left string. Important, the selection of notes in treble mode is limited to the notes above the temperament octave. A sharp 3, the left string, has been tuned while tuning the temperament octave. Now it provides a reference to tune A sharp 4, the left string. The first harmonic of A sharp 4, the left string, is tuned to match the second harmonic of A sharp 3, the left string. For this string, I perform the same steps of checking the current string state, adjusting the string tension, and verifying the string tuning status as I did for A4, the left string. When I'm done, I switch the state of A sharp 4, the left string, from off to tuned. The middle and the right strings of A sharp 4 are tuned in unison mode as described above. I will repeat the similar steps for all the notes and all the strings within the treble section. The details of this process are presented in the page A Piano Tuning Sequence included in the user guide. I walk through the status to verify that all strings for all notes are tuned. The piano is tuned now. Thank you for watching. We hope you will enjoy our application.